What's going on guys? Danny Lanier Lawn Care. Today we're going to show you how to install an hour meter on your push mower. Now this is going to work for pretty much any of your push mowers honestly um, and so I figured I would show you a step by step of how I do this and how easy it is so you can do it. All right guys, so if you've ever taken one of your mowers to the dealership, had them put on an hour meter, they charge you $50 for the hour meter plus, you know, the labor. Uh, you can buy your own hour meter. I got this one off of Amazon and this is the Hardline hour meter. I think it was like 26 bucks. Uh, so we're going to show you how to install this. Take you about 15, 20 minutes, depending on, you know, how, you want to wrap the wire, I guess. But uh, we're going to show you step by step of how I personally am going to do this. And it's pretty easy. So let's get started. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take, and there are three bolts on top of this pull system right here. And I'm going to pull these three nuts off of here so I can remove this. And then I should be able to pull this whole front cover completely off so I can get to my plug way easier. So let's remove those all right so we've got our three bolts out we're just going to pull this off and now we should be able to pull this straight up as well and what i'm going to do is i'm going to if you look at the bottom of this <clears throat> this is where on this side i am going to mount the hour meter right here and the wire, okay, so this is how it sits. Here's our, our plug wire. So I'm gonna run it around the plug wire and then I'm going to run it through here and along the edge and all the way over to here. Now what I'm gonna do to keep this plug wire in through here, since there's no heat anywhere coming through here and the muffler's on this side, I'm gonna run it on this side. So it's gonna come up and then run along. I'm going to take and I'm going to put a uh, weather stripping, a uh, small weather stripping uh, that's, you know, got the tape on one side and put it on here to hold that wire in place and put it over here to hold that wire once again in place. And uh, then here, it's going to be very easy because it's just going to come out and uh, come up through the hour meter and around. So very easy very simple to do so let's get started on this part of removing our plug wire so our plug wire is removed very simple open our package up here all right so we got our wire now this is where it's going to get fun because we're going to undo our wire and the first thing i want to do is i want to make sure that this wire is long enough to reach which i'm pretty positive it's going to be <clears throat> from our plug all the way around which it is <clears throat> then it comes with a zip tie here so we're going to take and we're going to set our zip tie down we're going to get our plug wire here and what you want to do is i'm going to go ahead and pull this completely out <clears throat> so I can bring it over here is you want to take your plug and you want to wrap it around four to five times around this wire so we're going to wrap it around here I'm going to want to take and pull it and now I've got two ends here so let me get you a close-up of this all right so if you look here I've got it wrapped around and then on this this is what it's going to look like okay so it's wrapped around and then I've got my two ends and I'm going to put these two ends together and then I'm going to zip tie. 
All right, so I'm gonna take these two ends here, probably move this up just a little bit, just like that. And then I'm going to pull this. And now I'm gonna take my zip tie and I'm going to zip tie this wire together. All right, now we're gonna cut this. All right. Now, next step, we're gonna run this wire back through here where it goes under, pull our whole wire through. And put our boot back on, but I'm not gonna push it completely on. This is gonna be routed through here all the way around to here. So, in order to do this, I'm just gonna take the wire, and I know I'm gonna go this way through here. So, we're just gonna start probably right here and route it around. So now I'm just gonna take some weather stripping here. I'm gonna measure out a couple pieces from like here to here, <clears throat> cut that. Cause this is double sided. So uh, I can put it on and hold it in place on both places. So then this can go from here to here. And that way my meter is held in place. Now the reason I'm using weather stripping is because this is going to stick to the side, but it's also going to keep my wire in place Ta -da. all right so this calls for a 764 uh, drill bit we got our drill bit here <clears throat> let's figure out where we want to mount this bad boy and then we'll drill a couple holes So let's see here, right there kind of looks good. And uh, that should give us plenty of room as well. So we'll start our first hole here. And then we'll drill our second hole here. All right, holes are drilled. And then we gotta drill a hole for our wire. All right, three holes, <clears throat> two for the thing, one for the wire. And I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna do the wire one, make it a little bit bigger. In. We're going to make sure our wire will fit through that. We'll do it from the top here. All right, and it will fit. Shizumi, just like that. So let's put our hour meter on here. Hour meter on. All right, then our wire just twist in here. And we take this, flip it over, put it on. Let's make sure it's gonna fit here. This is gonna be the fun part right here, making sure it fits back on. So there's that hole lined up, that hole lined up, all right. Normally, after you would do this and install it, you would literally test this and make sure that it's working before putting it back on. Um, I've installed a lot of these on different mowers, uh, so I'm not going to test it. I'm pretty sure it's going to work, and I'm going to show you that once we put this lid back on. Uh, I'm going to add gas to this mower and oil to it because I have not even started started this engine yet 
so before I ever touched this, I wanted to make sure I had an hour meter on it. That way I know when the maintenance and stuff of that nature is due on my mowers. Just nice to do overall, make sure that you ain't missing something and then you don't have to guess to mate anything. You automatically know. So we're gonna tighten these back up, which very easy, you just snug them. <clears throat> and let's add some gas to this beast and put some oil in it, start it, and I will show you how you know it's working. So let's roll. All right, so here we go. First startup of this mower, period, ever. Just put gas in it, just put oil in it. And we're gonna show you what happens when you do this. If you see this hour meter here, you'll see this hour, see this little gauge right here. It should start blinking once we start this mower up. So uh, that's how we know it is working properly. So let's see if it starts. First start, here we go. We got our hour meter installed. We know it's working properly and we are ready to mow, mow, mow. And now we know when we need to maintain our mower. So that is gonna do it for this one. I hope you enjoy. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.